five five Chandran walks at a rate of three point five meter per second away from a lamppost one night as shown in the diagram on the right. The height of Chandran and the lamppost are given. Okay. Find the rate of change of Chandran's shadow. So we see here this one is three point five meter per second. And this is the rate of change of dx over dt. Why? Because he moved along the x as you see here. Which is equal to 3.5. So this one is positive. Why? Because it's moving to the right. If it's moving to the left, so it might be this must be negative. Okay. So this one. This one is 6 meter. And we know that this one is Chandran height, which is 1.8. And we know that the shadow starts from Chandran. So this one is the shadow. So we just give uh, we just give a variable to it. So shadow s and this one is x the distance of x okay so first we must get the relation between this one and this one so we see here this one is 6 right so 6 if 6 the x the x1 is x plus s you see here if this one is 6 this one is x plus s the overall of the lamp. So from Chandran, so the height of Chandran is 1.8 and the shadow is represented by S. So cross multiply, this one is S, 6 times S is 6X is equal to 8, 1.8 times X plus S. So 6X is equal to 1.8X plus 1.8S. So bring at the other side. So 6S minus 1.8S is equal to 1.8X. So 4.2s is equal to 1.8x. So we are want to take, we want to talk about shadow, right? So shadow is s. S is equal to 1.8 divided by 4.2x. So here s is equal to 3.7x. So here we know that S is equal to 3 over 7X. So here, A, the question wants the rate of change of Sandran shadow, which means this one is DS over DT because rate of change of shadow. Okay, now we have this one. S is equal to 3 over 7X. From here, we can find DS over DX, which is equal to 3 over 7. So what else do we have? We have dx over dt which is equal to 3.5. So we can connect all these three. See here? So we know that here ds over dt is equal to if this one is ds, this one must also be ds. So ds over dt already here. So the one with ds is ds over dx. If dx is here then dx is here divided by so what else left so this one is dx over dt so here we ha we have equation connecting all these three so we can just substitute so ds over dt is what we wanted to find ds over dx is 3 over 7 so we see here we get a constant if you have a number or we have a value of x we have to substitute the value first so that we only have value okay time dx over dt so here dx over dt is 3.5 so 3 over 7 times 3.5 we get 3 over 2 or 1.5 this one is shadow over time so this one is the distance right so this one is in meter per second B the moving tip of the shadow so the moving tip is moving from the lamp so this one if you have from the lamp you still remember this one this one is L the length where this one is X and this one is the shadow so L is equal to X plus S where this one is X and we know that our S is 3 over 7 X so this one is 7 over 7 plus 3, we get 10 over 7x. So this one is the moving tip, this one is the distance which is L. 
So we know that the moving part dl over dx is equal to 10 over 7. And we have dx over dt. So the moving tip, the rate of change of the moving tip is dl over dt. So here dl over dt is equal to, if this one is dl, this one must also be dl. So we have dl over dt already. So now dl over dx. If this one is dx, this one must be dx. So what else left? This one is dx over dt. So this one dx over dt. Once we have this, we can just substitute. So dl over dt is what we wanted to find. dl over dx. Okay, so here when you have over dx, if you have only value, then it is okay. But then if you have in term of x, you must uh, substitute the value of x first. So this one, dl over dx, we get 10 over 7 times dx over dt is 3.5. So we get 5 where the unit is in meter per second.